Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, week two. You might remember how last time we talked about how the word habitus is a, a useful way of naming that constellation of habits that make up our day-to-day -day lives. And how a holy habitus is one which is moving increasingly Godwards, that is seeking increasingly to reflect the values and the lifestyle of Jesus, and, and so to reflect him to the world better. I'd like to talk today a little bit about the question of habit formation, i.e. how do I implement a new habit into my existing habitus? Philippa Lally at the London University College has done some really interesting research into this with her team and they discovered that on average you have to do something for 66 days before it becomes automatic and really anywhere between two and eight months. Now you might think, oh, goodness me, that's a long time to be committed to something but that's the way that it works. And actually that's an encouraging thing because it reminds us that actually it's possible to change your life. It's possible to be transformed, especially if you've got the Holy Spirit on your side. Now I don't know if you did that exercise last time of mapping your habitus and all the little habits that make up your day-to-day -day life. Um, you might have noticed in there, teeth brushing. Simple example, morning and evening, at least I hope. And it's a great example because that's not something that you've always done it's something that you've learnt. Um, probably because a parent or guardian drilled it into you and said you must brush your teeth and stood over you while he did it each night. And now it's just automatic. In fact, if you go to bed and you hmm, haven't brushed your teeth, it doesn't feel right. Um, it's automatic and you have minty fresh breath now and much less fillings than you would have had if you didn't have that habit. Now if that's um, teeth brushing, why not those habits that would draw us close to God and make us more Christ-like? And so my question to you today is, what one habit, what one practice, if you did it regularly and consistently, would make all the difference in terms of your discipleship, would draw you closer to Jesus, would help you to leap forward in your spiritual growth? Think about that when this video has run its course. Write it down, underline it, and then ask yourself three questions. Firstly, how can I remind myself to do this regularly until it becomes automatic? Maybe a reminder on your phone or a knot in your handkerchief or whatever. Secondly, how can I incentivize this practice so that it's more fun to do and so I look forward to doing it? That would help it get bedded down in my life. And thirdly and finally, are, is there anyone I need to get accountable about this? Somebody who could provide some external scaffolding to support me. If you do that and you do it for long enough, the great thing is it will become a habit and you'll be one step closer to the likeness of Christ.